Ah! Oh! Oh! It's a gun! Ah! Why are you pointing at my crotch? Oh! You! You want money? You want money? Got you. Oh! I love my wallet at home. Oh! I got things though. I have things. Hold up! Hold up! Half thing of lip balm. That's. It's like a buck. What else? Oh yeah! FN57 mag. That's worth like 60 bucks. Hold on. Empty shotgun shell. You don't want that. Uh. I got a bolt, grade eight, that's pretty good. And 50 BMG black chips, those are like 12 bucks a piece. Hey, hold on, can you just, one second, my mama's calm and she's real sick. I'm so sorry, this is embarrassing. I just gotta take this. Uh, yeah, that wasn't my mama calling, it's not a phone, that is a gun. My mom actually is calling though, one second. Yeah, mama. Yeah, no, everything's good, normal day. What are you up to? No, I got plenty of time. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and I am glad that you are here today to join me on this adventure. We are checking out a very interesting firearm. This is the Ideal Conceal and it has a lot of similarities with the old Life Card 22. Um, this is my cell phone just so you can kind of get an idea of the size of these guns. This thing is, it's basically the exact size of a cell phone. It's a little bit thicker but it is actually smaller than my cell phone. This one is kind of the size of a credit card, except for the width, and you can tell it does have a barrel right there. Let's check out this one first. So this is the Life Card, and it has a little little cute little crazy holster right here. It's the size of a credit card with the height and length, but the width is obviously uh, a little bit wider than a credit card. And it folds out, as you can tell right here. Has a little trigger, there is our hammer, I guess, and then uh, the barrel does, well, you gotta drop the hammer first. The barrel folds up, and you put your 22 long rifle in there, load it down, cock it, you're ready to fire. And then when you're done, you fold it back up, and you put it back in your wallet with the rest of your credit cards. And we made a video on this a while back because it was a very interesting little pistol. This one is very similar in the way it works, but made by a completely different company, and it is a different mechanism as well, but it folds out from a square black shape that does not look like a firearm into something that looks more like a firearm. But before we take a closer look at it, I want to thank our sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is awesome. It's super effective, super reliable, and it's very intuitive to set up and use in your home. Simply Safe protects like a pro with 24/7 professional monitoring. If there is a break-in, the security specialist can notify police if the intruder is in the house, if they are armed, and what they are doing, which results in 3.5 times faster police dispatch and more crimes stopped. Simply Safe is modern, comprehensive, which means it protects your home inside and out. They have sensors and devices to make sure that every aspect of your home is covered and safe. Did you know that Simply Safe is the number one expert recommended home security system? Over 3 million people rely on Simply Safe every day to keep their home safe. Video doorbells, smoke detectors, glass break sensors, motion detectors, water detectors, panic buttons, freeze sensors, door and window entry point sensors, video cameras, and much more to customize to your home plus the smart lock. Keep your house more secure by making sure your house is always locked. Plus you can grant access to anyone from anywhere and you can keep track of who comes and goes in your house. Simply Safe is awesome. They have fair and honest prices. It's 50 cents a day with no contracts. For more information, go to simplysafe.com slash demo ranch. It is also linked in the description below. It's great because you can customize your house however you want and you can do it all by yourself without having to hire a crew to come install the system. Check them out below. Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Okay, let's check this thing out. So the way this thing works is it's folded up and it has a little detent right there that will lock into place. And that locks your grip down and you can see it also exposes your trigger. And to close it, you just press that detent and close it. So this has two barrels that open up kind of like a break open shotgun, kind of like a over under double barrel shotgun. Um, and this is chambered in 380. It does have a rifled barrel. Not sure if you'll be able to appreciate the rifling there, but the barrels are rifled. Probably, I actually don't know the specs, but I would say two inch long barrel after the chamber there. Little sliding gate to unlock and lock your barrel. This part looks like they later are thinking about putting some kind of a flashlight laser something down there. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Our little lever here to open the barrel does have a groove down the middle and there is a tiny front post there. That is your sights. Very rudimentary. This thing is made for bam bam, up close, that's it. Uh, no aiming long shots, sniper shots 
with this thing. Let's see if it works well. For those not familiar with the 380, it's very similar to a 9mm, but just a bit shorter. So, we're gonna go ahead and load this thing. We just drop them down in here. This is the last reload I'll show you because it's not fast um, and not very exciting. Okay, um, this thing is made to be an up-close self-defense gun. We're gonna work it out though. I wanna see how accurate this thing is, how reliable it is. Um, you know, because I might make it my new everyday carry. Probably not, but you never know. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot for the sun-kissed right here. I, this is the first time I've fired it aiming down the sights. I think I shot high. Let me aim lower. Yep, I shot over the first time. Forgot to show you guys, this thing does have a little manual extractor here, so you just kind of push up like that and it will pull those shells up so that you can reload. Yeah, I'm shooting high. I need to aim lower with this thing, I think. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. Not the most comfortable thing because this thing is eating my fingers, but that's the sacrifice you make for ultimate concealability. Hello? Yeah, no, I'm just talking on my phone. Definitely not talking on my gun right now. Yeah, babe. Uh, no, I'm not at the gun store. I'm at the library getting books for our children. <laughs> getting faster. Speed is good, but accuracy is better. Oh my gosh, this trigger is really long. <laughs> Woo! Okay, can I do two in a row? Oh, all right, uh, that thing's probably at 15 to 20 yards. I'm getting the hang of it. Just so you can see that trigger that I'm talking about, you have to pull it all the way back really hard and then it clicks at the very end, so it's just really long. So when I'm going for those accuracy shots, it just seems like it takes forever before it finally clicks. Which makes sense because this thing does not have a safety. So your safety is, I mean, you can carry this thing loaded and that thing covers your trigger and that trigger's never gonna go off because nothing can pull it. So even if you drop it or, you know, it gets some G-forces, it's not gonna be enough to pull that trigger that far back. And it's completely shielded with that pistol grip around it. What? That's scary. Oh, I barely missed that one. Guys, I have a confession to make. I told you this was a gun. It's actually not a gun. It's actually the brand new iPhone 12. You were really excited about your two, three lenses. This thing's got a couple lenses too. That'll shoot bad guys. And it, you know, everybody always makes fun of flip phones. They went back to flip phones. <laughs> it's a flip phone gun. Thought you guys might want to look at my crotch. Uh, but I have a cell phone in one pocket and I have a pistol in the other pocket. Is that a pistol in my pocket or am I just happy to see you? Which is which? Any ideas? No, they look, they both just look like cell phones. So it prints like a cell phone does, which every man has in their pocket. Just so you know, some people are gonna wonder. <laughs> okay, best gun in the world? No. Worst gun in the world? The Rona didn't take all the high points, did it? <laughs> Not the worst. Not the worst gun in the world. It's actually interesting. It's a cool little pistol. Ow! Also not the most comfortable one to shoot, but it is unbeatable in terms of concealability. That is it for the Ideal Conceal 380 little foldable pistol. It's very interesting.
Thanks for watching. Dimmelin. Oh, not again. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? Gotcha. Figure out how to answer.